It's a unique system in that it's custom designed for Shinnecock's needs and the size of the wells. And if they had done, if there was different parameters, we would design the station differently to to meet whatever they're looking looking to do. Okay. So the from the starter, uh, the motors are are wired into the starters that are in this panel. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Everything's initiated from here. So as the as the irrigation system turns on sprinklers. Um, the, the station sees a demand and kicks on one well pump and then adds a second one to keep up with the demand to make sure the pressure is kept up to speed. Okay. And then it just it just manages that based on what they're seeing in the system. Okay. So. We generate these on every job. Okay. Request it's a 3D model slash a software program that runs a 3D model. And it's actually interesting, uh, yeah, because when we, so with the 3D model, we, we design the station and on, this, on the computer and then we, we lay over the building dimensions on top of it on the computer so that we can actually rotate it and look at it from all angles and make sure that the station's going to fit into the building. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, this is, you know, probably, what, five or six years old and, and it's a, at the time it was a really clean, simple design, you notice there's very few wires, yeah. you know, and, and even now what we're doing now is even more clean, like more simple and less intimidating. In older pump stations, you, you don't even want to touch them. Yeah. What are the what are the usual service issues with this, or parts that need to be replaced? Have you? Yeah, you know I mean. Well, in the older stations, the big one was the fuses. Yeah. Yeah. So we've seen in the last two days, we've seen two custom spec pump stations, and both of them had one of the circuit breakers. Yeah. Yeah, electrically, there's really not that much that you have to do. Um, you know, it's really more like the seals and making sure them. And, and on this station, there's relatively, you know, there's hardly any of those. They don't have, you know, normally you'd be servicing your motors and your pumps and that kind yeah. of thing on an annual basis. Yeah. What was the issue at Lincoln Hills that we saw this spring in? It, there was a, a, John had come up and fixed it. It was a relay or yeah, something. Yeah, he had taken a, a surge and he had a, he had a tripped um, motor protector. Okay, yeah. So like a he phase, shut it phase down minor. in the fall, something occurred over the winter, the yeah. power surge, tripped that when he went to start up in the spring. He had an alarm, visual alarm. Yeah. Now, uh, is this pump station, like, internet capable? Or can you see this in Tucson and yeah. do diagnostics? This is the same touch screen that, that uh, okay. we were looking at on my iPad yesterday. Okay, yeah. Same model. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know that it's currently being used or has been used on the internet, but it certainly is capable of it. So, and what makes it capable is is a touchscreen type and also the that free wave radio that brings it back to the computer in his office and then that's how we